Will it create upward pressure on the yen, the lack of carry trade? Well, I think, you know, if you think about this in the context of actual monetary policy rather than just particularly the carry trade, if we think about monetary policy in Japan versus elsewhere in the world and, and monetary policy in the West that is actually joining the type of monetary policy um, employed in Japan, then I think these movements make sense. Now everybody wants the weakest currency, everybody wants to export their way out of domestic difficulties, and we're seeing this sort of competitive devaluation move all around the world and therefore it's going to be hard for countries such as Japan, um, such as elsewhere in Asia, uh, who have maybe higher interest rates for their domestic economies to really try and prevent those capital inflows from the West that is now going to be exporting carry trade type strategies as Japan did for much of the last 10 years.